After the, a week of heats last weekend, we saw Danielle Hope crowned the nation's new Dorothy in Over the Rainbow. However, during an interview, she revealed she was once so shy, she pleaded with teachers uh, to be an usher in the school play rather than appear on stage. But, aged 11, she was forced to perform in a production of Grease and said, I found it incredibly easy to become another person on stage. All of a sudden, I had found something I could finally do, and that had never happened before. So... When did that moment register with us? When did we realise exactly what we were here to do? Well, I think when I used to sing very early on, sort of seven, eight years old, and I could hear the orchestra. And that's what I say, when I'm teaching people, you can tell when they're naturally music, musically um, born. When I'm playing the piano, they're singing, and they can hear the orchestra behind them. Half of me thinks that it would have been nice for me not to be so consumed with music, because I would have had a chance of doing something else, but there was... You know, when you know that there is absolutely nothing else that you can do, I oozed music from 7-8, from couldn't mm. wait to learn musical instruments, sang all the time. You know, yeah. I just think you know, really. I, I think probably know. the first time... When I was eight in primary school, when I played the lead in Jonah and the Whale. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Who are you? Sorry? Who were you? The Whale. <laughs> no. I was. I, I know, but you no, know. When I you think three... you're right. And I can... A couple of times, there was... Um, but one that stands out very clearly. I was about, I was about seven or eight, and we used to, I was going for swimming lessons with my cousin Gillian in um, Hove. We used to drive to Hove. And I'd sit in the back singing uh, <laughs> Around the World in 80 Days, very loudly, all the way there and all the way home. And one day, my cousin, obviously, was fed up. She went, oh, I think you're probably going to go into show business. And I suddenly thought, yes, show business. <laughs> <laughs> There's no business. very quickly I probably wasn't going to be a very serious actress and I got the first laugh when my mum had taught me I'm a little teapot short and stout here's my hand here's my hand. and then somebody taught me the other version which was I'm a little teapot short and stout here's my handle here's my oh dear I'm a sugar basin <laughs> and I knew oh, you'd had your you. calling well do you know it's interesting isn't it because I think it's brilliant um, I think it's a gift to know what your calling is in life but um, surely we're not all just put here to do one thing. I saw a, a, a clairvoyant last year, um, and he said to me, your life um, will pan out in four phases, and you're only at the beginning of the second phase. I thought, crikey, I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm not even halfway. How can that be? <laughs> so then I thought, well, this is kind of interesting, and he talked about other things that I might go on to do with, with my life that are completely removed from, from what I do now. And actually, I've already had kind of two careers... Um, well, what, did he not, what kind of things? Um, more in, in terms of kind of, you know, um, well, one of the things that I've always been really interested in is um, psychotherapy. Mm. Um, well, we all need a bit of that on here, love. <laughs> well, <laughs> just, it's, it on here, it's really interesting, do. actually, so, because in order to, to practice it, you, you know, if you have to preach, you know, in order to preach it, you have to practice it, so you'd have to go into therapy. Um, so there's, there's just, I think that life isn't about just coming uh, um, here and doing one thing, it's about evolution your, your mm. interests change your life change and okay. maybe we're not here just to do one thing but I, well i agree because you know um i was kind of i grew up in a musical family so it's something i always did since the age of two so i never had that moment of this is what i want to do as far as as music was concerned it was just something i did um, now obviously since then i've done you know loads of other things and i love everything i've done and everything i've tried um, but the very first time it hit me as in that moment of I really do believe this is what I was born to do, mm -hmm. was when I went on tour last year with my sisters. And, really? that, and, it, and that was, you know, it had been 25 years since I'd toured with them before. Really cool. And I don't know whether that was because this time around it was, it was my choice to do that, yeah. you know, whereas before I'd just grown up with it, it was something I did. But it was a real, I remember that it was a real defining moment, and it was on the first opening night, and at the end I just stood there and thought, this is actually what I think I was do born to do, as much as I love doing yeah. everything else. And you appreciated it more, probably, as well, yeah, like, at this point in your life. But I never thought you... You know, I'd heard people go, oh, I've had that defining moment, and I used to think, oh, that's rubbish. You know, it's a bit theatrical. Mm. Well... It's a bit yeah, your there's type. No, yes, except there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that, actually, though. It did actually happen. It was I would say to Kate that, you know, if you, if you don't... It's all I ever wanted to do after that, and actually, if I hadn't been like that, there would be... There could be no options. I couldn't have survived, because every time somebody knocks you back, you have to have this. I, 
it's embarrassing to talk about, but you have to have that drive, don't you? Otherwise, you give up. You know, yeah. you have no, to keep on. And on. And it's all I ever want. It's still all I ever wanted to do. I still. So you, I wanted to be a vet, though. Did you? Yes. See, I, I'm me too. I, I don't love laugh. animals. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I think it, I met a vet at the weekend. His name was Di. He said it's a good job to have. Did you? Yeah, I did. But I think when you didn't fall for that, I'm a vet. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. It was. <laughs> To bed, she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Big worries, Anne's a thing. Oh. Okay, time for your first job.